Anytime you see something over and over again in your industry, it crosses your desk once, twice, three times, you might want to stop and take a look. And over the past week, I have had masterclass ads plastered across my YouTube feed. These ads you've probably seen, they take celebrities and they have them teach their area of expertise. If you're writing about people, you have to be interested in people. I can teach you how to play drums in about two minutes. Uh, come on. Everything in life is a negotiation. Whether that's Tony Hawk teaching skateboarding. A lifestyle, a sport, and an art form all at once. Carlos Santana teaching guitar. You're bringing light into the darkness. Or pretty much anything you can imagine. And if you've seen these ads before, they have a very distinct style and they're running millions of dollars in ad spend to them. So that means it's time for me to perk up and say what's going on here and then go ahead and give it a shot in my own business. Today we're gonna break down how to create your own masterclass style ads for your business and create a winning ad that works. Here we go. All right, so undoubtedly you've seen these distinct ads. They have quick cuts, they have their own stylistic flair and they're easily identifiable. You know at the beginning that you're seeing another masterclass ad and since they work and we see them over and over again, that brand recognition is going to feed into the advertising loop. We know that humans respond to this. Anytime we see an ad or a campaign that's working over and over again, we can take principles of that. Even if it's outside of our industry, we can take principles, bring them into our industry. Or if it's already in our industry, we can take elements of that without copying it into our own business to have success based on what's already working. So the first thing we gotta look at is the camera shot, right? We're gonna get set up to shoot this ad, which is pretty simple. We can do it with one or two camera, still static shot and there's going to be a cheap way to do this and a more expensive way so the elements of style as far as a shot we have depth of field which is those shots where you see the blurry background and it's focused on the person's face we're going to have multiple angles usually one straight on angle and one from a 45 degree angle we're going to have an interesting background that means it's usually not just a blank wall or something there's usually something more interesting so we might put a view in the background or a bookshelf or something like that and if you don't have any interesting backgrounds at your house you can just go to a public place go to a park go to the mountains whatever find something next we have nice dress typically these people are not dressed like i am in a tank top but it is hot here right now so i'm gonna have to change to shoot my masterclass ad they're gonna be well lit professional style ads so usually we're gonna have good lighting and in the face we're gonna see lots of emotion it's not somebody cold this is an expert in their field who's usually spent 10 20 30 years doing what they do and that passion for what they do is gonna come out in these ads. So before we even set up our shot to shoot our own ad, we have to have these things dialed in and we have to get ready to set them up. You know, so find a place that has a cool background and bust out your DSLR camera, or if you don't have one, hire a photographer for a day, dress up, get the lighting right, and get ready to convey that emotion. So that's part one of shooting the masterclass style ads. That is the camera or shot. So next up, we have the format of the ad. It's gonna be about 60 to 180 seconds long, and we're gonna use specific sound design on this ad. So we're gonna use fast-paced or chasing music. This is sound that you might see in an action movie. Opportunity for them actually to present you with your deal, only they thought it was that. When there are things happening, this is gonna keep the viewer's interest, keep them watching to find out what happens next. They're also gonna use sound effects with the title. So anytime those titles come in, we're gonna use a sound effect to show that title coming in. And then in general, the sound is just very cinematic. So we're gonna mimic what movies do to keep our attention in this. So we've got the look, we've got the sound, and now we need the script. Now real quick before we get into the script, so we know what the end product looks like. As Stephen Covey says, start with the end in mind we're going to look at editing. So these ads, again, we're gonna shoot them as a talking head, but we wanna edit them with black and white titles. That's gonna be white text with black background. We're gonna use jump cuts to Eye music. Contact. I cannot think of any line of work that you are not going to benefit by communicating. Which means 
the shot is gonna change to the beat of the music. We're gonna use varying angles and zoom, so we're changing the shot about every three seconds in these ads. It's gonna keep the viewer's attention, and we can even use black flashes in between cuts. So if we're cutting a scene, we're cutting to a new angle, we can use a black flash in between. All right, so last but not least, we have the structure in the script, and I will link below this video to the structure in the script so you can go use this in your own business. Go ahead and grab that below the video. Number one, we're gonna begin with a statement about your topic, and a statement should qualify or disqualify our desired customer. That means if we're targeting real estate agents, we might make a statement about real estate. And the reason we're gonna do that is we wanna perk up the interest of the people who might become our customers, and we want to encourage those who are not in our market to skip the ad. And that's because on YouTube, you only pay for the viewers that actually watch your ad. Anyone who skips it right away, you're not gonna end up paying for that viewer. So make a statement that makes it real clear. We don't want everyone to watch our ad. We want the people that are our ideal customers to watch our ad. We want everyone else to skip it. The process of doing your second draft is a process of making it look like you knew what you were doing all along. After we have a qualifying statement, we're gonna have a title. It says, meet your new instructor. Again, it's gonna be white text, black background. Nothing replaces a human connection. Then we're going to teach a surprising or counterintuitive insight. And we're gonna say what I'm gonna teach you in this masterclass, and then say something that goes against industry conventions. So if everybody thinks that you need to prospect by cold calling, you might say something like, cold calling is the dumbest thing you could do in the real estate industry. So you just want to defy conventions and get people interested in what you're gonna say. There has to be a guessing game going on, okay? You have to break their guessing machine. If they already know exactly what you're gonna say, what the ad's about, if they've heard it before, they're gonna tune out. So again, tip is to break the guessing machine, defy their expectations. Then we're gonna have title number two. Again, black background, white text. It's gonna be your name. Next, make a passionate statement. What fires me up in the morning about real estate investing, about being a real estate agent? So whatever your field is, I'm just using this as an example. I'm not in real estate. Uh, you're gonna make a passionate statement. Just dig deep emotionally. Why do you do what you do? Why do you care about your customers? Who are you a hero to and what does that mean to you? Make a passionate statement about that and get the viewer hooked. They're going to feel your passion and then they're going to feel passion in return and keep watching. This is the foundation of who I am. Every single piece of me is in these drums. Everything. When you play music. You're bringing light into the darkness. Title three is gonna be social proof. This could be something like as seen on Entrepreneur Magazine or over 10,000 customers served or known from this movie. Whatever it is, we wanna grab social proof that people already recognize and we're gonna put it on the screen so that we're building trust and credibility so they believe what we're saying. we have reveal a secret of your trade. You have to realize that the top producers in their field are not doing this, this, and this. It's something nobody likes to talk about, but it's the truth. So just think into what happens behind closed doors in your industry that most people don't get to hear. What will the people at the top not talk about because it causes too much trouble in the industry, but behind closed doors, that's what they're focused on. Okay, so again, this is defined conventional wisdom, but we're really digging into like the 80-20 of what the top producers are doing and whatever our field is. And we're telling the truth, something that they don't usually hear. Because usually the people at the top are not gonna tell the truth to the mass market because the mass market usually can't handle it. And so we want to tell them a secret of the trade. Again, we're breaking their guessing machine. We're telling them another secret. It's gonna get them to keep watching. Now, in between this, we're gonna use B-roll. So we've used talking head up until this point. Talking head is when you're just sitting in a chair and the camera is shooting you straight on a 45 degree angle. B-roll is when we're cutting in relevant background footage. It's not of somebody talking, the audio's not synced up. It might be a panning shot of a scene. It might be a scene from outside. It might be a close up of the speaker's face. 
There's tons of instances of B-roll. They use different kinds of B-roll. It could be you practicing your craft, whatever that is, or working with a customer. So we want to sprinkle in B-roll to show our audience a little bit of our world, okay? So if I'm making an ad about running Facebook ads, I might show B-roll of me sitting at a laptop on the beach, logged into my Facebook ads stack. Now, after we've showed them this, we've kind of hooked them, we've opened up some questions in their mind. Now we want to give them a tangible result. So number five on here, by the time we're done, you're going to be able to, and you just want to tell them exactly what they're gonna be able to do by the end of this ad. What I'm gonna do in this masterclass is teach you how to think. The goal here is to train your mind how to see the world differently, how to question what others say. I'm gonna give you all the strategies and tactics that I developed as one of the top hostage negotiators in the world. You're gonna learn everything from bargaining to reading body language to the neuroscience that you can use to literally bend people's reality. I'll talk about connecting with people and asking them questions. I'll talk about keeping a diary. It begins with a notebook. I'll be reading a few of my published essays. Lisa, you're a natural. I'm often asked, what does your family feel when you write about them? Well, I thought I would bring my sister Lisa here and find out from her. <laughs> so by the time we're done in this class, you're gonna know exactly how to go out there and get your first paying client. Or you're gonna know exactly how to grow your business by 10X this year. Or you're gonna know exactly how to learn how to ride the tricycle or learn how to sing better. Whatever it is, whatever industry you work in, just talk about the result that your client or your customer is really happy. Next, we're gonna have title number four, and it's gonna be Your Name Teaches. So Christian Martin teaches how to ride a tricycle, if that's what my class is about. Six, we have tell a personal or painful story from your past about your struggle to get a result. Keep it short and relatable. Now the key word here is vulnerable. This word came up over and over again in these ads, and what you wanna do is humanize yourself Show that you're not perfect and you're more like your audience than they think. Oftentimes we'll look at an expert in a subject and we just think that person is superhuman and they were born to be good at this. So tell a quick story about your struggle that you had to overcome to get to where you are today. Now, if you can, use an enemy, okay? If somebody was trying to hold you back, if somebody tried to sabotage you, but this could be an internal enemy, okay? It could be your own self-doubt. It could be the nine to five job that was holding you back or student debt. So it can either be a person, an organization, society, or it can be something internal that you believed about yourself. But try to create conflict, okay? There's a saying in screenwriting that character is conflict, and we don't really know what somebody's character is until they have to deal with conflict. And their true character is revealed by watching what they actually do when they're confronted with a difficult situation. So show some of your character by walking through a conflict you've experienced. Next. This class is not just about blank, it's really about. So this class is not just about making money online. It's really about becoming the person you were meant to be. So we can go a level deeper here. Like what result do they want to achieve and why? So it's not really just about learning to ride the tricycle. It's about proving to your family that you had it in you all along, that you can make it in the circus. Again, this is a silly example, but this can be applied to anything if you teach singing it can be, it's about finding your true voice. It's not just about sounding better. It's about finding what's inside of you. So we're gonna use the hero's two journeys here. We call this internal and external. There's the external thing, that's the obvious tangible thing that everybody's after. And then there's the intangible thing. It's the inner journey or the inner desire that we have that we want to achieve. It could be the respect of our family, the respect of ourselves, proving to ourselves that we could do it. Um, setting a good example for our children. It could be anything internal, anything that drives you beyond just the external rewards. It could be what you do for your customer, right? Title five, we're gonna have cascading topics. So we just wanna have the topics scroll through the screen here and we're gonna show them what we're gonna teach them on our webinar or video, whatever comes after the advertisement. Eight, I will equip you to blank, but also to blank. So just pick out the two big things that you're gonna show them on the webinar. So I will equip you to be able to create your first online course and go out there and get paying students, but also to take control of your financial destiny and have a scalable asset in your business that works even while you're asleep. So show them two things you're gonna show them how to do. And again, go one step deeper on the second one. Why 
is the first one important. We're gonna talk about that in the second one. And after that, we wanna talk about objections and primary benefit to the viewer. So we might say, even if you're not sure you're an expert yet, we can show you how to create an online course that truly and deeply helps your market, even if you're insecure and you've never taught anything in your life. You need that conviction that you are brilliant, this is the greatest idea that anybody's ever had, and that by writing it, you will set the world on fire. When you know what your passion is and what your purpose is, and you go for it, no one and nothing can stand in your way. Skateboarding can be a great lesson in your life a lesson in perseverance, a lesson in self-confidence, a lesson in belief. You, you don't have to be a pro skater, but you can carry these lessons with you throughout your life in so many other ways. We're gonna show you how to take the expertise you already have, the knowledge and life experience you already have, and turn that into a scalable digital asset. Okay, so cover objections. What are the five main reasons that people are not gonna work with you? What are they insecure about and what is happening outside themselves that they think is gonna prevent them from getting the result that they're after, okay? So if we're teaching people to speak on video, we can say, even if you don't have any fancy camera equipment and you get nervous every time you hit record, we're gonna tell them about these objections and how we're going to overcome it. And then we want to reiterate the primary benefit to the viewer. So ultimately, what are they gonna get after they click through our ad? That's what we want to emphasize. That's what people are after. And then finally, the last thing we have. Hi, my name is Christian Martin, and this is my masterclass. I'm Robin Roberts. I'm Neil Gaiman. I'm Carlos Santana. And this, and this, this is my masterclass. Now don't say masterclass, because that might trigger the copyright infringement on this type of ad. So you need to pick your own thing. You know, I'm Christian Martin, and this is my webinar. I'm Christian Martin, and this is my blueprint for selling your online course. I'm Christian Martin, and this is my video about how to create masterclass style ads. So I just say what it is that you're gonna provide to them, and that is the end of the ad. We're gonna end leaving them wanting more. That's gonna get them to click through. So this whole time we're building excitement, okay? We're going through a character arc, both internally and externally. We're showing them how we come up against conflict. We're addressing the objections that they will have to get this result for themselves. And then we're encouraging them to come learn more. That's the masterclass ad. It's very distinct. Again, we have the look, we have the sound, and we have the script. Now, if, you're, if you've gotten this document below the video and you're writing your own masterclass style script, number one, I'd love to see it. Please post it in the comments so we can check that out. We might even pick the best one and send you some free stuff. Number two, I have some tips for you. Tip number one, be specific, not general. Don't say, it was really hard for me to go into business for myself. That doesn't mean anything. You might say, I sat down to Thanksgiving dinner with my family and they were all pressuring me about why I hadn't made it yet. This is a hard part about entrepreneurship. So that's specific, you're at Thanksgiving, you're with your family, you can paint a picture, were you eating turkey? Was it cold outside? Was it warm outside? What state were you in? Is it hard for you to visit family? So. Again, just really, really specific. Anytime you can paint it just like it would be in a movie rather than some general thing that people aren't gonna be able to picture in their mind, you're gonna get a better result. Next tip, good versus evil. People love the interchange of good versus evil. So no matter what field you are in, again, you can have an enemy. I once heard an ad where the enemy, my arch nemesis, was the alarm clock. Five years ago, I came face to face with my arch nemesis, the alarm clock. So if you're sitting there thinking, I don't have any enemies, there are no villains, you're lying to yourself. You can always create a villain. The villain could be not enough time, right? It could be family pressure. It could be the market's too saturated. It could be whatever you want. There's always a villain, there's always conflict. Think about what annoys you, think about what's standing in your way, think about what obstacles you had to overcome to get to where you are now and put those into your advertising. Next tip, clear outcome, tangible outcome. So don't say something like sing better. Say something like the next time you step out on stage, you feel the power in your chest because you know you're ready for this performance. Okay, again, it's all about painting the picture and people do not like general outcomes, okay? Don't say, I can help you grow your business. Say, I can help you bring in 15 new clients in the next 45 days. Okay, really clear about what the outcome is. 
Next tip is to tell a story. Anytime we can wrap that into a story, it's gonna have a bigger impact. People learn through experience, and if they don't learn through their own experience, they can learn through your experience, but only if you tell them about that experience. So again, when we're telling them about the trials and tribulations, wrap it into a story, they're gonna remember that story much better than they remember you just telling them it was hard. And the last thing I have on here is be passionate. Why do you do what you do? Why are you in the business that you're in? Why do you care about your customers? Who are you a hero to already? Or who do you want to be a hero to? Let that come out in your speech. Let the love and the passion and the enthusiasm you have for your field, for your expertise, for what you do come out in your ad. And it's okay if you're scared the first time you get on camera. I promise if you just practice it over and over again, your natural self and your natural enthusiasm and passion will come out. So if you don't nail it the first time, if you can't seem to be yourself on camera, don't worry about it. Just keep going, just keep practicing and you will get there. So that is how to shoot masterclass style ads for your business. If you want to get more customers, more clients, more business, you want to get more exposure, this is a great style ad to go ahead and give a try on YouTube. If you need help running YouTube ads or running ads like this, go in the comments below this video and we will post more resources for you to help you. My team, digitalnomad.com, is some of the best in the world at this type of stuff. We run millions of dollars in ad spend and bring in millions and millions in sales using online video assets. So go ahead and check that out. But again, masterclass style ads, one to two minutes, 60 to 180 seconds is what I've written down actually. So a little bit longer than that. You gotta get the look right. You gotta get the sound right and you gotta get the script right. Remember, this is a template for you to follow, but you can break the rules, okay? Learn the rules so you can break them. You don't have to look exactly like a masterclass style ad. You don't have to do it exactly like a laid it out. But I would recommend giving it a shot. See what you like, see what you don't like. Take the parts that you like. Get rid of the parts that you don't. Go out there, shoot your ad, and make it rain because one good ad can change your life. Post your ad in the comments. Until next time, it's Christian Martin from digitalnomad.com and I'll see you on the next video.